In this video, we will explain the resource leveling. So resource leveling, basically, if I want to go to spreadsheet, and I have a lot of resources here. So I have too much here, but too little here. So leveling is as much as possible. I can take some of the overload here and put it here. So I can have not equal quantities over time, but a bit similar. It depends on your constraints. To do leveling, you go on top, level resources, and you have some options here. So you automatically level resources when scheduling. No, you just, you uncheck that because you wanna level resources when you want to, not every time you schedule. And this is consider assignments and other projects with priority. So this is if you want to level resources among all projects in the company. But many people want to do that. They want to have a standalone project to work with, but it depends on your, if you want to utilize the resources among all other projects in your company. You want to preserve scheduled early and late dates because if you let it as it is to Promovera, then they will change, you know, duration, start, finish to make the best for you. So you have to preserve it. So you want to keep the start and finish and nothing else will change in the program. Recalculate assignment costs if it has costs, so it has to be recalculated and it will be reflected also on the S curve. So you wanna check that. You wanna level all resources or select a specific resource. It's up to you. Level resources only within activity total float. So let's say you have 100 labor working for 10 days duration and this activity has five days float so if you want to check that you ask a promovera to level all the resources over 15 days not only 10 days duration so you want to take advantage of the float so instead of pushing or squeezing all labors for the duration you want to take advantage of the float and consider it as an additional duration you level the resources so you take some of the peak of the resources from the 10 days duration and equally distribute them over 15 days period not only 10 days so you add the total float and you take it into account but typically you don't want to do that and also the activity leveling priority it's a huge factor in leveling as well so for these activities right click and choose columns search by activity leveling activity leveling priority let's have it here so i have here all normal by default but let's say uh, rebar for maybe in my area still fixers are very rare or qualified still fixers so uh, they are not available just an example so they are not available so much so i want as much as possible to reduce the peak or reduce my requirements so instead of having all this number no this is my priority so all these activities with the bar i want to make the activity leveling is a top priority it depends on your priority here and for example for carpenters i have so much of them i actually have excess amount in my company so i need 20 but i have like i have more carpenters just to finish the one project and i have 50 available right now so i i, I want the lowest priority for carpenters but for the reward i want the least amount of demand over peak periods so don't ask me to afford 30 qualified steel rebar fixers now but i want to i want you to tell me that not 30 labors but maybe 20 labors over two month period so this is a whole idea of leveling so it will take some of them from here and put it here based on your priority based on you decide you want to level within total float or not so based on the options we discussed in the leveling window so this is a huge factor as well for the activity leveling priority promovera algorithm is very very intelligent so it will do everything in matter of seconds so they will weigh all options you have and the settings you adjusted and based on all the leveling priorities for different activities it will give you the optimum result 
So this is the activity, the resources leveling, which can be very effective in your project. So this is something you want to learn about. And I will see you in a new section, which is the activity codes.